Hello, Matt from Drobo. So let's see what happens when we pull some drives out of our Drobo. Before we start, let's just take a look at my B800i. First, I'm currently using about 64% of the capacity of the unit. So on here, I have many volumes created. Across all volumes, I'm using 64% uh, percent of that capacity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a failure. So to simulate a failure, I'm just going to pop a drive out. So I just went ahead and I popped out this second drive. The Drobo almost instantly detected that that drive had failed and is already working to get back to a redundant state. So right now, what it's done is it's implemented what's called virtual hot spare. So before, where we had 64% of our physical capacity, the Drobo has gone and reclaimed this space. So this is virtual hot spare. We reclaim the free space from the unit and utilize it to get back to a redundant state. You know, if I had a traditional RAID system, let's say, and I just had a drive failure, if I didn't have a hot spare to find, then I'd now be in a degraded state. And it would remain in that degraded state until I swapped the drive. If I had a hot spare to find, well, that would have kicked in, but I would have had that drive maybe sitting around for several years, not being able to be utilized for additional space. With a Drobo, I can fully utilize those drives. When I have a failure, it'll implement the virtual hot spare. All right, if I come over here to the status page, what you're going to see, we're currently in the process of rebuilding the unit. But what's happened is I have this one slot here that my drive, where I remove my drive, it says add a drive here. So with Drobo, everything you need to know about the status of your unit can be referenced by this chart. So red, yellow, green, you know everything about your unit. So here, yellow, add or upsize a drive here soon. So those thinly provisioned volumes can still continue to grow, even though I'm in a degraded state, I still have 10% of my capacity left, but the Drobo is letting me know that I need to go ahead and add another drive for safety to make sure I have sufficient free space. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pop in this last drive I have here, pop that in the unit, and here in a second, it's going to spin up that drive, the Drobo is going to detect it, and it's going to get automatically added to the shared data pool. So here, we're going to go ahead and expand from 90% to a much larger, oh, there we go, 50%. So now, by adding that drive, the Drobo automatically added it. Heck, I'm still in a rebuild process, and I added a drive, and the uh, Drobo was able to expand the RAID set. So with Drobo, it really is that simple. You follow the lights as outlined on our user manual. It's everything you need to know about the status of the unit. Pop in the drives. Simple as that.